you're in my bookshelf. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. We have a very fun video. Actually, let me move you over here. Maybe the lighting is a little better. For this video, you guys know if you're not new here, you know that I've been preparing for a craft market coming up. Um, I've been crocheting and sewing and really just trying to like build my stock up. Um, and I've been doing a series of crochet with me's to prepare for this market. The market I was originally preparing for did get delayed to May, so we have more time to prepare. I am going to be crocheting in this video to prepare for the market and our like topic or the items that I'm going to be crocheting in this video are going to come from this book that I got. Crochet Impkins by Megan Lapp, the creator of Crafty Intentions. It's a pattern book, but listen, I was in Joanne's and I found this book on the shelf and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I need to get this. There was a couple that I wanted to make. And then when I got home, it says over a million possible combinations. Yes, really. And I was like, wait, what? So I went back through it last night and I just realized the way that this book is made is it shows you how to make all the different parts of everything so you can combine the different parts of all the different imkins in different ways to make your own kind of little creatures so i've decided for this week as i crochet and prepare for the market i'm only going to be crocheting from this book i know sometimes i um crochet different things or try new patterns and stuff but the focus of this video is going to be our crochet imkin book and the reason i'm doing this is because these are so cute okay for one and the market i'm doing is for spring um and or i guess it's summer now because it got moved but there's like little sunflower people, there's little bees, there's fairies, there's mushroom fairies, there's strawberries, there's like, like look how cute this is. It has a little pointed pixie hat. Like, come on, okay? So there are so many. A little close-up of the little guys on the front. Okay. I don't have eyes like this, so we're going to be using the eyes that I do have um laying around but basically i'm going to be combining the different parts in this pattern to create my own little impkins and i'm going to be showing you the ones i end up making and do also also simultaneously doing a little bit of a pattern book review as i go um the last pattern book i was working with had some typos so it's good to know if you are going to buy this if it's a good easy to follow kind of book too so let's go ahead and start crocheting i think for the first imkin i'm gonna do i'm gonna kind of do a mushroom i think i want to do like a mushroom fairy i think i think that's the vibe so i kind of like there's two different mushroom heads available i'll show you the different mushroom oh right here so there's like this like kind of like witch hat style mushroom top super cute okay and then there's this style mushroom top which is kind of like the rounded, almost kind of like Mario Brothers mushroom top. So I'm going back and forth on what kind of mushroom top I want. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to do the kind of like witch hat kind of style one. I think I'm going to do this one. I just like it. I like it more. It's giving like witchy vibes. So I think this is the goal. We're going to do a cute little sitting mushroom dude right here. Okay. So cute. That's the vibe. So I'm going to find some yarn. Oh, the other thing is I'm not buying any yarn for this. So I did read the front and it said wait for yarn um, is what she uses. So thank God. I hate when I get a book and it's like you need this DK weight to yarn from Australia. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't have that. So we're going to start with trying to make a little mushroom impkin. I'm so excited. These are so freaking cute. What I love about this is there's different bot like there's four different body styles. You can do like the sitting, like a standing guy, a little sitting guy, different arms. So I think the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to make sitting because I think it's just cute little mushroom sitting down. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for so long, but I've been, I've had other videos I needed to film. So we're finally getting into it. And what's cool about this is maybe even if I don't sell a lot of these Imkins at the summer fair I'm doing if I I really want to do a ren fair like I want to do ren fair so bad and if I find a ren fair I want to be able to be like put me down you know put my name down I want to be able to do that and I can't do that if I have nothing 
to sell. So if I make a bunch of these, then I'll have a stock for a Ren Faire. Or even like a cosplay event. Because there, I know there's a cosplay event that happens two times a year in my area. And I want to try and get into the September one. Um, so I need to have some of these made. So let's get started. Alright, so I got the body and the legs attached. And then I have the arms. This is, so far it looks like a no-sew project. So you kind of crochet the limbs in. I will say the feedback I have so far is that the instructions on crocheting the legs on are not very clear and I feel like mine are a little off because of it um but yeah so I'm gonna keep going and the next step is to attach the arms and then we move on to the head and then I'm curious how the um the mushroom top will add on so we'll see how that goes okay, so I've gotten all the limbs on and like a majority of the body done now I'm just doing the head I did put wire in it to keep the head um, up because that's what they do in the pattern. I didn't have like foam wire so I just used like wire wire but um, I think it's going to work. I still feel like it's a little off but I think that's just because I miscounted or something. Um, but I'm going to put the eyes in. So as far as eyes go, I have a couple options. I was thinking since the mushroom is going to be red. I might do these red eyes because I can't think of another time that I would use them so I think I'm going to use them because they kind of match the red mushroom cutely so I'm not sure where I left off in this Imkin video but I finished the body of the first Imkin and I chose red eyes because the mushroom's going to be red but it looks so weird right now so hopefully it all comes together I finished the underside of the mushroom hat part um, and then now I'm going to do the top red part and then I think I have to attach it all together and then we'll be done with the first little imkin. I might even give him some, I don't know, maybe we'll just be done and move on to the next one. Alright y'all, reveal. The very first imkin is done. Ta-da! It's really cute. I actually kind of love it. I don't know how I feel about the red eyes. I feel like it's creepy. <laughs> it's a little scary, but I feel like... I feel like Imkins are supposed to be a little mysterious and spooky. I don't know. He's vibing. I mean, I don't know. I like it. It's cute. <laughs> it's weird that they like don't have any other facial features besides the eyeball. But, I don't know. It's very dull in my room right now because it's pouring rain outside. But, it's kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, one Imkin done. On to the next. Alright, so I've decided the next one I want to do is this little guy, the standing one, with the um, pixie hat. So I picked this color for the body and this color for the hat. And I've decided I'm going to go with um, bigger eyes than the last one. So I am doing a different um, body style than the other one. I think I did the sitting body style two for the last one so for this one it's the body style one and the arm style one so i'm also mixing it up just to try out all the different body types oh i want it okay so i finished the body for the standing one i'm doing and for some reason he's like groovy like he's dancing like he's not supposed to look like this but he looks like he's dancing like everything's like twisted <laughs> I don't know why I followed the instructions right, but he literally looks like he's dancing, so slay. But I finished, I also used bigger eyes this time, I feel like they're cuter. And now I'm going to move on to the hat, but so far I do like the instructions for, see like how he's like dancing? I don't know why it does that, but I think it's cute, it adds character. Um, but so far I like this making the standing one more than the sitting one. In like the crochet sense, I like it more. I finished his hat and he is so cute. Look at how cute the pixie hat is. Also, he's like he looks like he's dancing. This is so cute. I love how this one turned out. I actually think this one's my favorite compared to the mushroom one. I like this one more. I'll have to wait to take pictures of him tomorrow because the lighting is like non-existent right now because it's dark but how cute is he he's so adorable 
We are back on our Imkin grind. Um, my mom's birthday, we've already made two. This is our third one. My mom's birthday is next week and she has requested a sunflower Imkin. So I've gone through the book and I found this cutie patootie. So I'm gonna make him. Um, I am gonna use a lighter green. I just feel like this is too green. So I found this lighter green in my stash and then I have the yellow for the sunflower and then the brown for like the top part. So I think, oh, and I got these new eyes in the mail. I ordered these eyes cause I didn't have um, like really big eyes and I wanted like the big ones with the glitter. Um, I did not know that these are like three piece eyes. So you put the glitter backing on the clear eye and then it becomes a glitter eye. I've already put it on one of them. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you when we get to the eye part, but yeah. So I got these big glitter eyes because I think they'll look cuter than just like the black eyes I've been using. Um, so let's get started. I was going back and forth on doing a standing or sitting, but she's going to use it as like shelf decor for summer and spring. So I am going to make him sitting. Um, so that she can like prop him up next to her other decor. So we're going to make another sitting one. And I'm just going to follow these styles that she used. So let's get started. Alright, so let's update on the little sunflower boy. Um, I did the sitting body style 2 and the sitting body style 2 arms. Um, which I think I did the one on the other one, but I could be wrong. But I actually love the way this turned out. It's so cute. It definitely gets easier the more you make. Um, the attaching of the limbs just gets like less complicated the more you do it. But it's so cute. I also am trying out these new eyeballs I got. Um, I like them. I think they're cute. I think I put them in too far apart from one another. But they're so big. Look how thick they are coming off of the head. <laughs> they're so thick. They're ginormous. They're ginormous, but it's cute, so. Anyway, I'm going to start. I chose yellow because of the sunflower color of is yellow, so I thought it would be cute. Um, so I'm going to get started on the actual sunflower top part. That was actually like the easiest flower attachment ever. It's attached. So now it's a little sunflower boy and he's so cute. I love this so much. This turned out so adorable. I think I put the flowers on backwards. I think that it's supposed to be the other way. It doesn't really matter. I think it's cute this way. But I've decided I'm going to add wings to it. Because this is for my mom for her birthday. And she just recently lost a cousin. And her cousin's favorite flowers were some flowers. So I was going to add little angel wings to it. I think it'd be kind of cute. Um, and this book, has, this book has three wing options. So they have the bat wings, feather wings, and then the fairy wings. I think I'm going to do the feather wings. So we're trying out a new section of the pattern book as well. Um, but I think it turned out really cute and it like sits really adorably. How cute is that? Adorable. So I'm going to work on the wings now. The wings are so cute and they were so easy and so fast to make. It was like such an easy little add on. So adorable. Our third imkin is done. So now let's find another imkin to make. So I've decided on my next Imkin, and I went to go show you, but Alice is very peacefully sleeping. Um, not sleeping, she's wide awake. She has like major FOMO. Oh, look at how cute he is. Apparently it's nap time right now, um, but I want to show you... Our next Imkin, I already picked our colors out. Based off these colors, what do you think we're making? I flipped through this book and I picked, I think I tapped it, I did. I picked this little witch Imkin. So I'm gonna make the standing body style with these eyeballs, um, which I do have here. I used them for the other one um, with the hat and we're going to be doing this cute little witch hat to go with it. 
So this is the color I'm going to use for the body, and this is the color I'm going to use for the witch hat. I wish I had like a variated yarn color in purple, but I don't, so this is just what we're going to be using for the little witch imkin, so I'm going to get started. I have done this style body um, before, uh, two times now, or no, just one time. I have done this style body before, so I'm going to do it again, um, but the witch hat will be new, so I'll let you know my thoughts on that. I also am thinking of adding an accessory um, because there are some accessories, I think, in this book. Oh yeah, there are. There's little accessory options. You can make like a little messenger bag or a little like tote. Um, and I think, oh, I think I might make a little messenger bag for the witch for collecting things, but we'll see. My very, um, not so helpful helper. Ow! That is my leg. Okay, so I finished the body. I somehow ended up with a huge hole right here. I didn't skip a stitch. Honestly, it just looks, I mean, I might have skipped a stitch actually, now that I'm really looking at it. Well, that sucks, but I ended up with a hole. So I'm gonna hope, I'm hoping that the, uh, the little, like, messenger bag covers it, but... But yeah, the body's done. Now, in the other body I did, he kind of had like a little groovy posture. But this one looks normal. So I think I did the other one wrong. And I did this one right. Um, but these are the eyes I chose for this one. Which was just like the basic big black eyes. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute. I put wire in this one because the witch hat is going to be kind of heavy. So it is reinforced with the wire. But... I am going to get started on the witch hat. I think I'm going to go with this darker purple color to go kind of with it. And then we'll use a different color for the little messenger bag. Now for the witch hats, we have two options. We have this straight witch hat with no point. And then there's one that has like a pointiness. But this is giving more like wizardy. And I kind of wanted to give more witch. So we're going to do the straight pointed hat. Look how cute this witch hat is i still need to weave the ends in but like oh my god it is so cute oh i love it i'm leaving it removable so it can come off but it's so freaking cute i don't want to get rid of this one i think i'm gonna keep it <laughs> this is why i never make money because i just keep everything i make i'm keeping this but i'm gonna make it a little um satchel to hold crystals in a little witch on a mission. Look at how cute. I love the pattern for the little uh, messenger bag. So cute. Love the witch hat. Love the standing style body one. I think this one's my favorite I've made so far. So yeah. Favorite I've made so far. 10 out of 10. I'm really loving this pattern book. I haven't found any issues with it. I always find at least one issue in a pattern book. But so far I'm loving this pattern book. And I'm loving the little imkins I'm making out of it. So, on to the next one. Okay, so I think I've decided on our fifth imkin. I want to do this alien guy with the little antennas. Um, because we have yet to do one that requires, like, different, um, head structure, I guess. Like, it's built in. It's not just an accessory. So I think I want to do this guy. And then we'll maybe add some, like, accessories after. I'll look after. But the problem I'm having is I want to make this, but... It's not going to look the same because I don't have this eyeball. The only, like, big eye that I have is these ones, if I can open the container, is these ones. These, like, just the ones I've been using on the witch one I just did were these ones. So it's, like, they're big, but they're not... Are they the same size as this? No. Okay. They're big, but they're not, like, big enough, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll give him two eyes. I don't know. It has to be one eye. Maybe I'll find something. You know what I could do? I could crochet a circle in, like, a color um, that's slightly bigger than this to make this kind of bigger, if that makes sense. And just kind of do my own little DIY. Um, like a white circle, but yeah, I don't know. We'll do something like that, but 
what I do want to do is um, I need to pick the colors. So why can't this container close? So the other problem I have is I have to find yarn. I have to find yarn to use. I don't know if I want to do it in a solid color just because I feel like it'd be cooler with variated yarn. But I don't think I have any um, in like some cool colors. I have this lighter color one, this um, rainbow one, and this more like camouflage one. Maybe the camouflage one? Eh, I don't know. Or I could use this brushed yarn and he could be fuzzy. That'd be kind of cute. We could try it out. So we could use the brushed yarn, and then we need a color for the eyeball if I'm gonna be crocheting. Mm, maybe this color for the circle underneath the eyeball, and this for the body, and then we'll figure out a um, accessory. So yeah, let's try this brushed yarn. Let's mix it up a little bit. I think even though it's not colorful, or like, um, multicolored it'll still be kind of fun in what color did I say this color yeah he'll be a little fuzzy and then I'm gonna make a little circle with this color to put around the eyeball that I have so let's start making the body okay so this is what I've decided on we've got the body going it's time to put the eyeball in I crocheted oh I forgot to take my hook off ah. I've crocheted this circle and put the eye in the middle and then I'm gonna put this on my little alien dude so I think this is how I'm getting around the fact that I don't have a big enough eyeball but we'll see how it looks <laughs> look look at the eyeball <laughs> it turned out so silly oh my gosh I feel like it's big enough though I feel like it like makes up for the fact that the eye is small I don't know also I chose really interesting colors um, but yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to make the antennas now and finish the alien look. And then we'll go through the accessories and see if there's anything we can kind of add to him a little bit to give him more character. But yeah, his body's done. I have mastered the standing body style. Figured it out. But yeah, my first one eyed Imkin. So let's make him a little alien boy. Let's go figure out the antenna part of the pattern. Look at how cute the little alien <laughs> looks. <laughs> I put the antennas on and they are not straight, but neither am I, so it's fine. It's so cute. Okay, so for accessories, I've gone through and I think I've decided on the little bow tie. I mean, not the bow tie. That was the bow tie. The necktie. I feel like a little necktie would make him a little distinguished gentleman. So we're going to do a necktie and I think I'm going to do the same color I did for his eye just to have some symmetry there. And then, and then, yeah, we'll put it on and we'll see if we should add anything else or if we call it a day. Look at the little distinguished gentleman. Oh, the tie is so cute. It really brings it all together. Oh, it's literally, I think this actually might be my favorite. This is why when you guys ask me what my favorite crochet thing I've ever made is, it's hard. Because every time I make something new, it's my favorite. And I love him. He needs a name. And I need to find a place to put them. Well, this was a bust. I literally made all of these. And I'm probably going to keep all of them. <laughs> and that is the end of today's video. Um, thank you for coming along with me while I crocheted some Imkins. I know the original um, goal was to make some like some Imkins for the craft fair I have coming up. But I already, I'm giving one away as a birthday gift. Dylan wants to buy one. And I'm keeping the other one. So... <laughs> This was a epic fail in the goal of making more stock for my craft fair. So I will be making more videos uh, coming out preparing for the craft fair because the craft fair is in May. So we are nowhere ready for it and I really need to buckle down and get to making things. So if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see me on other socials, everything's linked down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!